The product of two consecutive numbers is 600. What is the larger number? In order to solve this word problem, we need to derive an equation. Since we do not know what the two consecutive numbers are yet, let's make use of variables. Let the smaller number be x and the larger number be x plus 1. The problem states that the product of these two numbers is 600. So we take x and multiply it by x plus 1, which will be equal to 600. As you can see, we need to further expand the left-hand side of the equation. So let's distribute x to x plus 1. After distributing x, we get the equation x squared plus x equals to 600. Because there is an exponent of 2, this is no longer a simple linear equation, but a quadratic equation. Let's learn the basics of quadratic equations. Quadratic equations take the standard form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Now, there are a few things we need to remember in identifying quadratic equations. First, the value of a should not be equal to 0. Second, the values of a, b, and c should all be real numbers. Now, Let's check out some examples and see if they are quadratic equations or not. In the first equation, see that the variables have 2 or 1 as the exponents. Take note that we do not write a superscript 1 to signify the exponent 1. Since the highest exponent is 2 and the coefficients and the constant are all real numbers, then we call this a quadratic equation albeit not in standard form. Moving on to our second equation, we see that one variable has the exponent 5. Now 5 is greater than 2. This automatically makes it not a quadratic equation. See, learning quadratic equations doesn't need to be hard or scary. In fact, when we do it together, it becomes fun. Join us again in our next 3-minute lesson, okay?